Hello, I'm Siu Eng from the Chinese University of Hong Kong. Hello, I'm Heng Teng from the University of Hong Kong. Today, we are delighted to share our work that is going to be published in GUT entitled Gut Microbiota Composition is Associated with SARS-CoV-2 Vaccine Immunogenicity and Adverse Effects. Vaccination has provided hope for containing the COVID-19 pandemic. However, waning antibody among vaccinated individuals implies a growing risk of breakthrough infection over time and the requirement of booster doses. So, there are several reasons why we did this study. First, factors influencing immunogenicity and durability of COVID-19 vaccines remain poorly understood. Secondly, there's a growing evidence suggesting that the composition and functions of the gut microbiota are crucial in modulating immune responses to vaccines. Last but not least, mucosa or systemic microbiota exposure shapes T and B cell repertoires that have an important implication for regulating responses to vaccination. In order to identify gut microbiota determinants of vaccine immune responses and vaccine-related adverse events, we conducted a prospective study recruiting the volunteer who received either Sinovac or BioNTech vaccine and we collected their fecal and blood sample at the baseline and at the one month after the second dose for their gut microbiota sequencing and also immune measurements. When we checked the neutralizing antibody response in the blood of the volunteer, we found that those who received BioNTech vaccine had a higher immune response than Sinovac vaccine. And we also found that 57% of the Sinovac vaccine had inadequate antibody response. When we look at the association between the baseline gut microbiota and antibody response, we found that individuals with low abundance of bifidobacteria and adolescents have a very low antibody response to Sinovac vaccine, which is one of the inactivated vaccines. On the other hand, those who received the BioNTech vaccine and also had very high antibody response also had a very high abundance of the Rosevuria physis and Eubacteria rete. These two bacteria can also express the flagellant. As we all know, the flagellant can serve as a vaccine adjuvant. After the COVID-19 vaccination, there are a lot of people develop the COVID-19 vaccine-related side effects. And we also found that those who received the BioNTech vaccine had more side effects than those received Sinovac vaccine. And also, we found that those people who have a higher abundance of Prevotella copri and two Megamonas species have a fewer side effects. In summary, our study published in GUT showed that baseline gut microbiota composition can predict immune responses to COVID-19 vaccines and vaccine-related adverse events. Secondly, this study has also identified specific gut microbiota markers in association with improved immune responses and reduced adverse events following COVID-19 vaccines. The implications are that the findings highlight that microbiota-targeted interventions have the potential to complement effectiveness of COVID-19 vaccines to fight against this pandemic. Thank, Thank you, you for, for watching. watching.